Mr. Speaker, Canadians who choose to join Ukraine's foreign legion would do so at great risk for themselves. They should not have to worry about prosecution in Canada. According to the Foreign Enlistment Act, it is against the law for a Canadian to fight against a friendly foreign state. But the Act contains no definition or list regarding who is a friendly foreign state. So could the Attorney General simply clearly state for the purposes of this Act that Russia is not considered a friendly foreign state? The Honourable Minister of Foreign Affairs. Mr. Speaker, obviously we know that Ukraine is at war and that we need to make sure that we help Ukraine to defend itself. Now, I've been clear uh, and the travel advisory on Canada's website is clear. We need to make sure that if people are in Ukraine, they need to shelter. And at the same time, we've been clear since February 1st that should Canadians be in Ukraine, they should be leaving the country. And we've been clear also that Canadians should not go to Ukraine. That being said, we know that this is a personal choice on the part of uh, many Canadians, and I look forward to working with my colleague on this issue. Thank you. Honourable Member for Sherwood Park for Saskatchewan. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, I hope we'll get some clarity at some point on that specific question. Now, a defining challenge for democracies in many parts of the world is energy security. Fueling democracy and protecting the international rules-based order requires Canada to step up and do our part uh, to help our partners kick Putin's gas out of their supply yes. chains. Yeah. Does the NDP Liberal government recognize that supplying energy to fellow democracies is critical for global security? Yeah. Yeah. The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The current situation in Ukraine underscores the importance of energy security of our allies in Europe and around the world. Our country is in a secure position in terms of energy supply, and as Europe works to address the geopolitical and social economic challenges presented by the Russian invasion of Ukraine, we are considering all measures to preserve energy supply chains in Canada and, where possible, worldwide.